welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kayla here thank you so much for tuning in for today's video if you are new here please consider subscribing and to all my returning subbies hey y'all thanks for tuning in today so in today's video guys we are going to be picking out and designing my dream kitchen y'all know that the house I bought and moved into it is a fixer-upper and this kitchen while I've made it functional, it is not my ideal dream kitchen. So throughout this video, we are gonna be picking out materials, trying to decide how the layout should be changed, and even looking at some new appliances as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so this is what my kitchen currently looks like. And I'm sure you guys can see why I said it's not my ideal and dream kitchen and over here on this side of the kitchen is where my fridge lives if you guys watch my old videos then you know that this was previously a pantry and we tore it out to make it more open and also we expanded the little doorway here all right guys so you saw what my kitchen looks like and now i want to tell you guys what i want to do at least what my dream kitchen would look like for this space right here that we're in so starting over here, this right now is where I keep my food and things like that. But what I want to do is take this wall oven out and put a regular stove oven combo right here within this area. So this will either be all one cabinet or another idea in my head is to extend the countertop out and then have a shelf above that similar to how it is like right over here cabinet countertop but just extend it out that way so you guys let me know which option you like better all one cabinet or countertop and then a cabinet above let me know so that's kind of the plan for this whole area this bad boy she going okay <clears throat> over here right here I want like a vent hood I believe it's called I'll pop up a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about so all of these cabinets will disappear as well um and then swinging over here to this where my sink is I want these upper cabinets also to go and I want like a cute pendant light coming down here over the sink Ideally, I would love a farmhouse sink in my kitchen. So that's what I would like to go right here. The dishwasher can stay here. It just needs to be replaced. That can stay here. That can stay here. So this side is not too, too much that needs to be done. It's just these cabinets up here that I want to go. So that way the backsplash can go from here all the way up to the top. All right, so right here, kind of like in the middle of my kitchen, I do want to, if possible, I would love an island. So to create an island here, and even if I could have two little lights coming down from the ceiling and just like two little stools for people to sit at, that would be so cute. I know I don't have the biggest kitchen, but I feel like it could be possible or even maybe like a moving island that I could just push out of the way when I need to. That's also a possibility. The hutch, like I said, it's going to stay here within the space. I am obsessed with it, but it's gonna get a makeover and that is coming soon as well. And then this also over here, my refrigerator will remain here in this space, but I do wanna add like a floating shelf here, like especially on this wall, but it would be kind of cool if it wrapped all the way around as well. Y'all let me know what you think about that, like here and there and some little hanging plants and some you know some cute things up there as well finally the flooring so um the flooring needs a total makeover pretty much it's laminate flooring here now and the rest of my home has the wood flooring so this is definitely an oddball out so i want to get a floor that is bright underfoot but also that can be seamless between the wood and the tile if that makes sense so speaking of flooring, in the next part of this video, we are gonna go to Home Depot and Blur and Decor and start picking out materials. Oh, and one thing I forgot to say, you guys, the cabinets, I'm battling within myself <laughs> whether or not I want to keep the existing cabinets and just paint over them, make them white, make it cute, 
new hardware, boom, 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 done. Or I'm thinking about getting all new cabinets. So when we go to the store in just a moment, we will price everything out and then hopefully I'll make a final decision. But before we move on, I do want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Audible. If you guys haven't heard of Audible, Audible is a monthly subscription service where you can listen to thousands of audiobooks. And now they're introducing the Audio Plus catalog where you can not only listen to audiobooks, but also meditation, guided fitness, and even sleep tracks for a better rest. I've been a member of Audible for a very long time and I absolutely love it. Currently, I am beginning to read the Game of Thrones book, you guys. I absolutely love the series on HBO and now I'm going to go back and read the book. I think it's going to be a great experience. But I know Game of Thrones isn't everybody's cup of tea. So that's why there's so many different titles for you guys to choose from on Audible. Oftentimes when you guys see me decorating things like this or organizing things around my home or even paint projects, I'm listening to Audible. So if you would like to join Audible, it is only $4.95 per month for the first six months because they're running a really cool holiday promotion. And then after that, it's only $7.95. Sign up for Audible today at audible.com slash younglady-business or text younglady-business to 500-500. So we just made our way inside of Floor and Decor. And so as you guys know, we are here right now to just look at the flooring and I'm gonna try to pick out the flooring that I would like. They might even have some countertop material as well. So I'm just trying to get like an idea of what I'd like, but oh, and backsplash, of course. So I'm so excited. Um, after this, we're also gonna be going to Home Depot as well, but I'll show you guys everything that interests me and you guys let me know what you think all right guys so they have the subway tile here um this is cute i like the um herringbone style as well or is that chevron one of the two i don't know but um hmm i don't know if i want to do subway tile it's cute for sure but i'm just not sure if that's exactly what i want to do i feel like this is the safest option for me the pricing on this, they are all eight cents each or $6 and 40 cents a box. And so I look, this looks like how big the boxes are. <laughs> These are what the pieces look like. So it's pretty cute and simple. You can't go wrong with subway tile, you guys. Sunshine, why are you playing? In my head. Up. I'm feeling this one that nice classy marble oh this is so cute this is 64 cents each it says that it's a I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it yeah so and this is what it looks like 
Okay, you guys, now this is gorgeous. It's all, it's white, but it's almost like a gray, like a soft gray. This is really pretty. And I'm thinking with like a white grout, it might look cute. You guys gotta let me know what you think of this down in the comments. So the pricing on this one is $8.99 each, so per sheet. And this is what the sheets look like. Oh, and by the way, I'm thinking about this for backsplash. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. So they have this one here. Um, they have it in glossy. They also have it in matte. So you guys can see like the difference between the two of them. Now this is something that I would definitely do for flooring within the kitchen and maybe do like a black grout or a light gray grout. So I'm really liking this. I'm kind of leaning towards the matte vibe. But y'all let me know. And these are 99 cents each. Okay, so flooring possible back backsplash option when i put these two next to each other the contrast is stark but remember you guys i do want the cabinets to be white so i think it'll work but we're gonna keep looking isn't it funny we came to that you guys so i do want more of a like a butcher block looking countertop so it would look something like this picture right here i don't really like any of these based off of the feel and the touch it's very grainy for some reason but let me hold up the top so i like this finish out of all of them the best so this would be like the backsplash and then like a tile on the floor. I mean, not backsplash, countertop. And then on the floor. I think the contrast is good. So yeah. Oh, it says countertop is sold unfinished. So this has to be sanded. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So give me something, give me something. Hey guys i'm very drawn to the hexagon hexagons i guess and so they have a different type of flooring all of them are 269 a square foot but they're very very pretty like i like the white i like the black and i love the gray it's so cute like with the white grout that's a vibe definitely a vibe so you guys know i had already picked out this one well, possibly for the floor. So when we compare this one to, you guys can see like the difference in size. So this was 99 cents each. So this is 269 a square foot. This is lovely. This is kind of like what I was talking about for the floors. This one is a lot lighter in color, which is really, really cute. And the style, the pattern is also different. So it's a dollar and 29 cent per square feet. This is cute. Oh, and it feels nice. I like this one. That's nice. Okay. This is the back A possibility. It's a dollar and 29 cents each. 
I'm just wondering, like, if the pieces you have to match. You do. You have to match everything up, huh? Yeah. Oh, that might be a chore. But I mean. It'd be a beautiful chore. Or don't you just turn them? Can you just turn them? No. No, they gotta be matched up. Okay, this is cool. I like this. But I definitely know I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do it in my kitchen. But I like it. So I'm really feeling this now. So I think what I should do is just take a sample with me and then kind of see how I'm feeling later on, but I, I kind of like it. I'ma be that girl to the end. It don't really matter what you do. Guess I have to tell you again. Cause you haven't got the new. And I got the subway towel too, just in case. You can't go wrong. Alright guys, so we are now in Home Depot and I'm just taking a look at um, the kitchen stuff over here for the cabinets and everything. Um, they do have some cabinets that are already made. All this stuff is custom, custom, custom. Um, and I don't know. I'm still deciding if I even want to do all new cabinets or just paint what I have already. So I'm just taking a look and browsing and then we'll see. so here you know already in home depot and i'm really feeling these cabinets right here they're unfinished but the prices are very very good um so yeah i'm really feeling these right now and they have like this little if you buy five or more pieces then you get 10 percent off of the unfinished cabinets and then in comparison over here on this side they have like the ones that are a little bit more finished and they're shaker style. It seems as though they're all coming in this gray color. Um, so if I did go this route, I would have to paint it white anyway, but I kind of like the style of these if I'm being completely honest with you guys more than the shaker style for some reason. And a cute little hardware, adorbs. Um, they also have like some pantry pieces. So these are, like just really long cabinets like how I talked to you guys how I wanted something like that possibly so I don't wanna be For this big piece, $329, and they sell them in smaller pieces as well. Sizes to choose from, unfinished, so just like the ones at Floor and Decor. Environmentally friendly, ships in one business day. Okay, so I could order this off of mine. Let's take a look at the color again. This is pretty. I almost feel like the quality yeah. is a little bit better than it is at Floor and Decor. The more and more I think about it, I'm really feeling these unfinished cabinets. So they have this one for the base, and it's a um, lazy season. I mean, how cute is that? And the price for this one is $179 each. So yeah, I think that's 
this is this is cool all right guys so here at home depot they have like these little graphs and everything actually you can talk with someone about all of this stuff so i'll probably have to come back another day to sit down with somebody and do all of that but just this model right here lets me know kind of like the price range so my kitchen is way less than 70 square feet so they're saying that a full remodel on the low end would be five thousand dollars high end 21. Woo. cabinet makeover would be low end 4100 high end 8100 and the countertop replacement only would be on the low end 630 high end 1680 so that's good knowledge okay so i'm looking at this dishwasher the price is $458, so I think that's pretty, pretty good. My only dilemma, you guys know that so far my refrigerator is white. Um, that was going to be like the only white appliance I had because I was thinking I'd get like a stainless steel stove and then a stainless steel dishwasher, but I'm really liking this white dishwasher. Um, so if I could find a white stove but the type of stove I want let me show y'all real quick oh can't go that way the type of stove that I would like or let me go this way <laughs> they have stoves back here I don't want the stove that has like the back part don't know what you call that I want it to be more like this not not this but no back um and unfortunately, they don't make a lot of stoves like that in the color white. Like this one's cute. Frigidaire, that's cute. Um, I do know that Cafe is a really nice brand, but it's so expensive. I just don't have the coin for that right now. But um, these are more so the styles that I'm looking for. So I don't know, what do you guys think? If I did get a white dishwasher and the only thing, only appliance in my, my kitchen was a stainless steel stove, would that look weird? That's kind of my dilemma right now. I'm not sure if it'll stand out too, too much. All right, and here they have another um, dishwasher. Now, if you guys remember, my refrigerator is white, but it has white let it has stainless steel lettering and stainless steel handles. So that's why I felt good about doing the stainless steel dishwasher and stainless steel stove. Um, so yeah, I got I gotta think more about this because I do need a new dishwasher. All right, you guys, so I had an idea. Um, the only backsplash that I got from Florin Decor was the subway tile. So I saw this one here and I was thinking, hmm, it might be kind of cute if, if the flooring was hexagon for the backsplash to also be hexagon. Or would that be too much? I don't know. But I'm gonna take this home too and then kind of see. subway tile the only thing that's missing is the um, countertop but it's gonna be like a wood tone so this is option number one let me know what you guys think of option number one so white cabinets subway tile backslash and then this flooring all right 
this is option number two, where we have the white cabinets, um, white subway tile backsplash, probably with like a black grout. And then we have this black and white flooring with the white grout. Option number three would be this grout, sorry, gray tile hexagon, white grout, um, white subway tile backsplash, white cabinets, butcher block countertop, and yeah, that's option number three. So option number four, again, would be white cabinet, white hexagon backsplash with a gray, like a light gray grout, and then the gray flooring with white grout. That's what that would look like. <laughs> white cabinets, then we do the white flooring with black grout. And then this white um, hexagon backsplash with white grout. Um, but with this, funny enough, I would do a black grout if I did the subway tile. Um, backsplash and then still a black grout on the floors. So that's option number six. So there's six options currently. Um, the only two things we know is that the countertop will be butcher block, the cabinets will be white. Um, and so I really need help you guys with picking out the perfect backsplash and then also the perfect flooring right now if i had to pick my favorite combo i think my favorite combo right now is actually the gray flooring with white grout and i think the hexagon backsplash with a light gray grout i think that's my favorite right now but at the same time i like all the other options too like like, this is stunning to me. It's so pretty. Um, so it would be adding some pattern. So we'd have that, and then we'd have the subway tile backslash. This definitely would be my second favorite. So you guys, oh, and then I didn't say the grout color. So this probably would be like either white grout or light gray grout, and then on the floor would be white grout with the towel. So yeah, you guys let me know which option you like the best, either one, two, three, four, five, or six. And I can't wait to talk to you guys about it more in the comments. So yeah, that's where we're at right now, you guys. Thank you for joining me in today's episode of trying to design my dream kitchen and pick out materials and things like that. This project is going to pick up more in the new year when we're actually gonna be start, you know, this project is going to pick up more in the new year or actually just going to begin demoing the kitchen and really putting down these materials so i am super duper excited for 2021 but before that i need to make a decision about what i'm doing so i'll see you guys in the next video please make sure you subscribe hit the like button and then comment down below which option you like the best i'll see you in the next one bye guys